Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your April the 17th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. The title of the meditation for today is Goodwill for the Common Good. Hopefully you can see that. Let me increase it a little bit. Okay, Goodwill for the Common Good. By practicing open-mindedness, we nurture an attitude of goodwill toward others and become willing to serve with our common good in mind. That is taken from the It Works book, Tradition 2, Applying Spiritual Principles. Before we found recovery, we served our own selfish desires almost exclusively. We use kindness and generosity as tools to manipulate nothing more. The ideal of serving others didn't even enter our thoughts when we were out there hustling. After we're clean for a bit, we learn to take actions that open us up to the concept of giving our time and serving the common good. We start by acting our way into a different way of thinking. That means showing up for commitments despite the self-sabotage that happens between our ears. Regardless of how long or challenging our days may be, we get to our home group to make coffee if that's our commitment. We show up because it is the right thing to do in spite of any monetary momentary rather lack of willingness i like that we show up because it is the right thing to do in spite of any mo momentary lack of willingness in reflection we practice goodwill and serve the common good of the meeting by following through as we continue taking action often opposite our thoughts we become a little gentler with ourselves and more accepting of our own humanity. We come to understand that our first impulse might lead us astray. We learn to take a breath and call on a higher power to support our practice of goodwill. Open-mindedness helps us access the spirit of generosity and selflessness. We may not talk about goodwill a lot, but you can see it in our actions and those of our fellows. Others depend on us, so we respond by being dependable. The we of NA becomes more important than the me in our old way of thinking and behaving. Today, I will clear away judgment of myself and others. I will strive to serve the common good. Tongue twister today, my goodness. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Goodwill for the common good. This is a spiritual principle that we're talking about today that I believe all of us have the spiritual principle to varying degrees. The way that I measure my own personal goodwill for the common good is not by how much I do. I don't measure it that way. I m measure it by if I do, regardless to what I feel. There'll be times when you're doing a commitment, service work, and your mind will self-sabotage you. You will say to yourself, I'm not even doing a good job at this. All I get is complaints. Or why don't, doesn't someone else do this? Why doesn't someone else step up to the plate? In the spirit of rotation, why have I been doing this one particular commitment all of these years without anyone stepping to the plate to assist? And you will get into a 
set mind that either you're not good enough for it or you've been too good for it. And that can change the way you deliver the service. So I make sure with this spirit of goodwill that my energy, right? The energy in which I deliver it is more positive than negative. I don't allow the negative self-sabotage uh, those negative thoughts that are in between my ears, I don't allow them to make the decision anymore today. I allow the spirit of goodwill and the common good for all in this fellowship. And in general, this applies to other areas of my life, but definitely in the area of this fellowship to rule the day. If it's something that I've committed to and I knew when I committed to it that there was no end in sight, I don't get to um, I don't get to that stage in the process of fulfilling it where now I'm complaining about how long I've been doing it. I started it understanding that no one else may ever step up. It was something that was put on my heart and God's will for me to be able to do. So that's where my energy will come from, my higher power, not another human being participating in it. If it's something that I've committed to and it has a time frame, when I get to that time frame, I will determine how much longer I want to continue. And I have that liberty. So I, I would like for you today just to look at your own services, your own commitments. We talked about commitments in the Just For Today, but to look at our own commitments and determine whether or not we're continuing to do them with a spirit of goodwill and common good for others, or has it changed to where now it's a burden more days than it's not. It's a resentment more days than it's not. Showing up to something resentful about the fact that you've agreed to do it and no one else is helping is problematic because it changes the benefit of it. Anyone can do service, can, but not anyone can do service with a smile and with goodwill, right? And so just look at that for yourself today. And I will be taking a closer look at it too. There's a few commitments I've had to step away from that had a time table attached to them. And after the time was served, I determined that this is something that is distracting from the rest of the things that I need to do. And I just, with a clear conscience, give the notice that's required and step away, which is usually two weeks. But for some other services, it might be a month. And so look at your commitments responsibly. I encourage you today to have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to, and I will be talking to you tomorrow.